Oribe is a world-renowned hairstylist with over 400 magazine covers to his credit. He helps shape the signature looks for some of today's most beautiful women out of New York's Elizabeth Arden Red Door Salon. Where did you first realize that this was going to be your career? Um, I guess in the late 70s I started, I, I just went to school, you know, it's only six months and so I thought, man, let's give her a go at it. It took me a long time to really get good, I was terrible at first, and, but you know, New York has a great way of um, making you better. Oribe, I know you have worked with many celebrities, how do you feel about it? I think the celebrities are, you know, it's a great way of uh, showing your work and expressing your, your talents and uh, if you find the right one to work with, it can be great. Sophia Loren, I did Sophia Loren in Paris and uh, she was in just, you know, very sexy, very flirtatious, very like winking at me all the time. And <laughs> So incredible. Oh, wow. I was like, so nervous. I loved it. She was great. You also have done uh, covers, magazine covers, a lot of them. We've done a lot of Jennifer ones. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I've been lucky. I have a lot of covers that I love. Now, tell me a normal day in your salon. The salon is, it, every day is different. Um, I have my regular clients, too, that I do, like, you know, very diverse type of clientele. And then, you know, of course, whoever wants to come in comes in, so... It's always interesting in here. This is the color room, and uh, this is where we do most of the chemicals. Uh, coloring and perming and straight perming and all that. This is the main cutting room. All right, what else? Okay. What a shampoo room, guys. Look at this. Who decorated your salon? My best friend did uh, in, the, in the early 90s, and so I had a, a painter from Italy come. I wanted it to look like Venice. So in other words, Aguano brought Venice to Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, you are from Cuba originally, right? I'm, I'm Cuban. I grew up in North Carolina, where being Latino was kind of special. There weren't too many around, so I always felt, you know, I sort of always felt special. So uh, I never got in my way, and it, it kind of helped me because, uh, you know, I was very American, but then I still had this you know, Latin flair to me, which really helped me tremendously. I think Latin women have a, a, a more sensual sort of aspect to them, so I do put that into my work, and uh, it helps me. Being from uh, Cuba uh, has given me a different sense of style that uh, I'm very lucky to have. Don't go away. Up next, find out why Huey Dunbar of DLG is singing a different tune.